Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I will be answering a common question that many new engineers have. Does your engineering experience count from the moment you begin working, or does it only start accruing after you officially obtain your EIT certificate? This Pass the PE exam is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Before we dive into the crux of the matter, let's first understand what an EIT certificate is. EIT stands for Engineer in Training, and it's a crucial stepping stone towards becoming a licensed professional engineer or PE. To acquire this esteemed credential, aspiring engineers must pass the Fundamentals of Engineering or the FE exam, a national assessment that gauges their grasp of fundamental engineering principles in mathematics, science, and engineering. Now, the question that's been lingering in our mind, does engineering experience count before the EIT certification is obtained? The answer depends on the state in which you're seeking licensure. Some states generously count engineering experience from the moment you embark on your professional journey, regardless of whether you've obtained your EIT certificate or not. However, other states adhere to a stricter timeline, only acknowledging engineering experience gained after EIT certification. Now, you might ask, how can I find out if my state counts engineering experience before EIT certification? The best way to find out if your state counts engineering experience before you get that certificate is to contact your state licensing board. You can find contact information for your state licensing board on the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or NCWES. You can find it on their website. As an aspiring engineer, it's crucial to understand your state's specific requirements regarding engineering experience and EIT certification. This knowledge will empower you to make informed decisions about your career path and ensure that you're on track to achieving your professional goals. So, there you have it. The answer to whether engineering experience counts before EIT certification lies within the regulations of your state licensing board. Remember, knowledge is power, so don't hesitate to reach out to your state's licensing board for definitive answers. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result and ultimately your career overall. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will read and respond to you like I did in this video. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.